community of the Dice of Yakima, it's a working community. It's a moving community. We are on the journey. In that community, we also see faith and lots of hope to go forth in their mission. So I would say it's a missionary community as well. The Yakima community has been impacted in the characteristic of the migrant worker of just being giving and being grateful it has helped the community be able to see the good that others bring, even though that they come from a different country, but what good they're bringing to our country, or and in this case, to Sunnyside. Everyone here is like family. Everyone knows each other. If you need something, they're always there for you. <laughs> I think it's a really cool thing to have. The role of the church, of the Diocese of Yakima, mainly through Catholic extension, of course, is to provide for these people. On the other side, it's a community that, that is a life community, uh, a young community as well. And this, on the on the Spanish side, we, we see kids in the, in the mass and complete families. Their devotion and love to Mary is always seen. It's seen in the way they uh, treat others, in the way they love the church. Y para mí es muy importante porque mis padres también nos han inculcado siempre la, la religión católica desde, desde chiquitos siempre nos han llevado y, y para mí es muy importante porque es algo de mi cultura. Ever since I was little, I was always like obsessed with the Virgencita. She's all over my room, so I'm constantly getting inspiration. One of my grandmas had a daycare. I would always be crafting with the little kids, like doing all sorts of projects. I remember doing an assignment for my art class and I decided to paint her in my own way. And I've always been very drawn to her. Young, she was really into duct tape. She started making a, a backpack, uh, peaches for school, wallets, and uh, she's just very creative. And all of a sudden, through all these years, she's telling me she's gonna apply for a scholarship. I remember stumbling upon a YouTube video one day of a girl doing a duct tape dress for the scholarship. And I remember like one day saying like, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna try my best to win. I had no idea what I wanted to design the dress. I just knew that I wanted to have the biggest dress and the most colorful dress. I started thinking about all the possibilities and then I remembered the folkloric dress that we have in my culture. And I thought that was the perfect way that I could execute the most color and the biggest dress. When I heard Larissa was into this contest, I said, I wanna support her, but I also wanna pray for her. So I was praying for her. I offer a novena. Not many people know about this novena, but I know St. Joseph helped her a lot regarding the contest. It was much more than just making a dress as well because I remember thinking about it. I don't really want to make a standard prom dress. If I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna showcase a part of me and that's why I really chose that style of dress. I, I knew she has lots of support, family and friends, but it went beyond that. It went into the community and also bring the community together. I saw people from different cultures supporting Larissa because her spirit, her talent, show that we can do something together. You know, she surprised me. I mean, all this big mess she did around the house at first, yeah, I would get mad because pick up, pick up, she doesn't pick up. And you don't realize until the finished product, there's like, wow, she surprised me. And it's hard to surprise me, you know, and she did it. You know, I saw the other finalists. And uh, yeah, there were some nice ones, but what I saw is like, there's no competition here. I mean, I hate to say that, but there's no competition. And Larissa's really humble. She's not like me. Now. She's really humble, you know? <laughs> and, you know, I'm like, no, you, you did great. And she did. 
She definitely represents in the way that she comes from um, a Mexican culture, you know, and I think that represents a lot of people in this community. Our parents in the past have worked in, in the fields, you know, bringing, you know, fruits and vegetables to, to our tables. To see what a small town and the people of this small town can do and bring to others all across, you know, the country is impactful. Once I started getting like more into my art and more into my fashion, I started like boosting my self-image and now that I won a national competition, some kids look up to me and are like, wow, I can be that. The dress, it's not just me, it's like all the Mexican people, which I think it's amazing.